Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. Well, we're halfway through the city of Centerville's 50th anniversary. That, of course, is the anniversary that our city became a city. So we were a village before that. Here to tell us more about all of the great activities planned June through December are two of the outstanding committee members, Mary Lou Pence and Kristen Gottman. And ladies, thanks for being here. You've got a hard-working committee, that 50th anniversary committee. We do. We do. Yeah, we lots of stuff been going on. Yeah, lots of meetings, downtime, off time, and staff lots of time, action. Lots, lots of, of action. lots of action. <laughs> lots, of, lots of events. Um, let's. I talked briefly about um, our history, but in 1968, uh, it's really interesting. We always thought maybe it was based on population, but what happened was um, in 1968, the village of Centerville had an election, like the whole country did, and we found out that we had more than 5,000 electors. And because of that, the state said, this village must now transition to a city and begin offering city services. So on December 2nd, 1968, that's just what that city council did. So because of that, we're celebrating our 50 years. Of course, we were founded in 1796, so um, this is our actual anniversary of becoming a city. And we've had things happen January through June, and now we're kicking off additional things um, one of the big things I think, Kristen, that people know about are the summer concerts. That's right. Our summer concert series, we've already completed our June month, which um, has been a very successful June for us. Um, really? We've had a lot of great attendance and great bands. Um, and July will continue. July 1st, we have Corky's Old Time Rock and Roll, and we go all the way through July and August, and then we'll have Guitar Fest in September. But um, do you want to talk about July 22nd yet? Yeah, well, okay. I was going to say for the most part, though, okay. those concerts are on Sunday evenings. On Sunday evenings. Um, we do have a Saturday in July, um, but you can visit the city's website, centervilleohio.gov, to find out the complete schedule. But it's Sundays at 7 at Stubbs Park Amphitheater. And while all the concerts are a lot of fun, and as you can see there, we have our anniversary cake where you can come and register for prizes, which we'll draw on December 2nd. But on, on July 22nd, yes, big special party. We are having a birthday party and a birthday concert um, for the city, and it's going to kick off at 6 p.m. instead of 7. And we were able to get a donation of a birthday cake um, from Cakes. Cakes, <laughs> yes. Um, enough to feed 2,000 people um, for, from Dorothy Lane Market. They're one of our 50th sponsors, and they donated the cake. So we're going to cut the cake at 6.15. And we're going to have um, Locking Up Otis perform um, a happy birthday song for us. And then they will have a full set um, at 7 o'clock. Um, but from 6 to 7, we're going to have some fun activities for families. We're going to have games. We've invited our um, other entities yeah. um, to set up displays. We'll have our sponsors there with displays. Um, so we'll have a lot of fun activities before the concert at 7. Yeah, so make sure you come early. Come about 6 o'clock so that you can take part in all the fun birthday celebrations. And again, that's July 22nd, starts at 6 o'clock. But really, for a complete list of all our of activities, go to our uh, website, centervilleohio.gov. So I just want to go through the list of, of what else is happening. August 3rd, golf outing. We've got something fun with that, too, special golf balls, if you're a part of that. So that would be cool. Um, August 7th, we're taking part in Mystery Night Out. And then um, one thing that we want to go back and jump back to, though, is July 4th, Americana. Oh, someone who's riding me in the, on a float is sitting right with us, Kristen. Oh, she is. <laughs> we have to get her float ready to go. Yeah, this is really oh. exciting because we're um, – we have four floats in the parade this year, so um, that in and of itself is exciting. But uh, one float, we're going to feature our past, present, and future. And part of our present is one of our longest-serving employees, Miss Mary Lou Pence. So have you ever ridden on a float before, Mary Lou? Nope. Really? This is your first time? First time. And you've been an employee since? 1989. 1989. So this is well-deserved. You, Thank along you. with Sandy Heck, right. who um, started, I think, in... 78, 78 or so. 75 maybe? 70, it's got a long yeah. time. <laughs> it's yeah, got a long really time. So you're long. So long time. So that's going to be something fun for you. And, and then I know Public Works has been working very hard on our other floats as well, which yes. we don't want to give anything away, but they're going to be pretty oh, awesome. Yeah, you need to get a front row seat to see these floats. Yeah, that, and then um, we also want to invite people to come to our booth. Yes, uh, Kristen. the city will have a booth um, there on Main Street right in front of Benham's Grove. We're going to have lots of giveaways that we've been um, passing out all year round. 
um, for our 50th, but we have a very, very, very important, exciting, special, yeah, exciting. special giveaway. giveaway that we cannot wait to um, pass We want out. you to be able to see when you come by our booth. <laughs> How's that for a little hint? <laughs> So, um, and of course, we're also taking part, um, as we said, August 7th is Mystery Night Out. That's over at Stubbs Park. August 11th, we're going to take part at Boomer Fest. This has been kind of a cool thing that we've been partnering with other organizations on some events, too. We just did the family recess, so that was fun. Yes. Um, and then um, we're showing now, if, as you see every police cruiser, you'll see our, their gold on the, re, uh, the rear license plate. And then the front license plate has our logo. Let's talk a little bit um, about some signage. We have banners throughout town. Yes, we put up banners at major intersections and along our decorative light poles on 48, State Route 48. We put um, corporation limit signs up on all of our decorative corp signs. They will be permanent. We'll keep them up for a number of, nice. of years um, with the 50th logo. The banners will come down toward the end of the year. But yeah, those two things make it very, very visible to the public. We also have license plate cover covers if you would like one or uh, a magnet for the back of your car. You can always stop by the city building or give us a call and we'd be glad to make sure that you get that. Um, let's talk about some other things though that you see around town. Something that we wanted to designate for our 50th anniversary city tree and we've done that. We have, um, we work with the city public work staff and the city beautiful commission at the direction of the 50th anniversary committee, I guess. To, <laughs> at our direction. <laughs> to, to come up with a, a 50th, or a, come up with a city tree. We chose the red horse chestnut. It's in the Buckeye family of trees. And there were about 20 or 25 of them planted around town at Stubbs Park, Benham's Grove, at every city owned building in, in town this spring. They will be available for citizens to purchase at a couple of local nurseries um, later this summer. They are a flowering ornamental tree. They get about 25 or so feet tall and bloom. The pinkish red blooms in the spring. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. Um, the committee wanted a flowering tree. Yeah, yeah. And we wanted something that we could plant in road right of ways or Near it's power pretty lines. hardy tree too, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a fairly hardy tree, yeah. Um, and they do come in pink or white. We chose the, the pinky red, red horse chestnut. So you can check with local nurseries to see if you would like one in your yard. And we are working on a way to register those trees so that you could um, go on the city's website down the road and find where they're, they've been planted. Oh, that'll be really cool. And speaking of flowering, we also really have changed our flower scheme this year throughout the city, including right. at Benham's Grove, right? At Benham's Grove and also at City Hall. Yankee um, Trace has some. There's a, there's yeah. a few there. Um, and uptown, um, there at the Four Corners. Um, I've seen some at Stubbs Park, Stubbs. Um, Police, Police Department. <laughs> West Franklin. Um, and West Franklin, and it's a gold and white and blue, which sometimes looks a little purple, but it's a really bright um, way to show the our 50th, uh, you know, gold and cheerful gold theme and cheerful, right. that we're trying to carry right. throughout the year. Right. Yeah. So you can look for that as you go around too. That's something, something new. Um, also, I think a larger hit than we ever thought. We knew everybody loved donuts, but who knew everybody would love the special donut that um, Lisa Tucker and the folks at Bill's Donuts created for us, which is, look at that, delicious. Um, there are three varieties of our donuts and they are really super popular. You can go in and you can see um, they're in a special case. There's signage there. Our council and our mayor all went um, did a taste testing. And so you can see all that, but you can go by this year only and get the Centerville anniversary donut as well. Um, we also have already had an art contest, which was very successful. We really tried to get the schools involved in everything. Yes, um, this spring we did an art contest for the middle schools in Centerville. And we had a first, second, and third um, winner, the, the, all of the entries were on display um, there at the Centerville Police Department. Um, and um, the winning photos they had, or 
drawings or paintings had their work uh, framed. And we did a really cool framing yeah. um, where we did a, the inside border was, um, you know, based on gold, silver, and bronze, um, which turned out really cool, so. And their work is also featured on this um, issue of the town crier. We also did Centerville Rocks. This is a program that's still going on, so if um, this is a, a art class from Tower Heights, but we are painting rocks on the back at Ashley to go to our Facebook page, and, and that's their finished product. Of course, if you're not familiar with a program like this, you take a rock, you paint it, we could, we'd be glad to give you a sticker, or you can just put on the back to visit our Facebook page, which is Centerville, Ohio, on Facebook, and you go hide it somewhere. And Kristen, we actually had someone already who found a rock and posted it, right? Yes, um, the, just this last week, yeah. we had a posting from Centerville, Indiana, yeah. um, at the Dunkin' Donuts. So you can see that um, on our Facebook page. Um, um, so it's not just Centerville, Ohio, the, the rocks can travel all, all across. Over the place. Um, if you're going on vacation this summer, um, feel free to stop by the city and you can take some with you and yeah. hide for us. It's, that would be fun. And then see how they speaking travel. of Facebook, we also are doing a, um, Friday flashback, and that's provi uh, proving to be very popular as well. If you've got some great photos of Centerville from the late 60s, early 70s that you want to share, please send them to us via Facebook, or you can send them to us at the city, because we'd love to have that. And we've realized that people really like taking a walk down memory lane and um, loving Centerville as it is now, but also appreciating what, what it was back 50 years ago. A um, couple other things that we have going on. As we get into the fall, of course, we're taking part in the Ice Cream Social, which is August 12th. Then we've got a football game, which is going to be pretty awesome. Um, Centerville High School versus Springfield. It's going to be a goal down, and we've got a fun thing that we're going to give away at that time, too. Yes, we are. Who wants to share? <laughs> a t-shirt. <laughs> we're going to do a gold out t-shirt. So for the first so many um, people who come through the gate, you're going to get a, a cool uh, t-shirt to wear for our gold out as well. Um, then just kind of finishing up the calendar, Ghost Walk is going to be October 4th and 11th. Yes, at Benham's Grove. Um, we're going to be uh, a partner or, you know, be involved in that this year. So um, as part of our 50th. And we want to make sure everybody puts on your calendar October 7th because that's going to be our fall festival. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's a new event. It is over at Stubbs Park and we'll, we're going to have music, games, activities, all kinds of things for families. And then um, November 11th is Veterans Day which will have an uh, exhibit table. And then of course we end with the tree lighting ceremony December 2nd. And it's gonna be a bigger and better, it's gonna start a little bit earlier, it's gonna start at five. Um, the merchants also have moved their hometown holiday walk to be December 2nd from one to five and then at Benham's Grove we'll have our tree lighting and we've been working um, on putting some prizes together yeah. all year round. Our we fabulous prize packages. <laughs> <laughs> all the events, we've had a cake, um, birthday cake, um, yeah, which you, you can, can see in the enter. And right there. There it is. There you go. They're entering to win. And we've been collecting these golden tickets all over at our events, and we'll actually do the drawing that night. You don't have to be there, um, but we, we have some great gift baskets that we're assembling that we'll be giving away that night. So at every event that you go to, you can just come by our table um, that we have tickets and put your name and phone number, and that gives you one entry for every event. So we've had a lot of events so far. We have a lot of tickets in that hopper. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Again, we want to remind you to come to our concerts. They are on Sunday, for the most part, a few Saturdays, but 7 o'clock at Steps Park. Uh, we will have our table there for most of the concerts, but for sure we want to see you on July 22nd because we'll also have that fun giveaway, too. Um, oh, yeah. On, yeah, if on, we have any left. We'll, we'll have to see what happens there, but you come by for birthday cake and lemonade, and we also want to thank our sponsors, because Kristen, you've done a great job with sponsors. Um, we've had a, a tremendous um, support from yeah. the community, so you can check our website, centervilleohio.gov, and we would like to thank all of our 50th sponsors for helping us with all of these events. Yeah, um, really. We couldn't do it without they, you. We really couldn't. I mean, we've got some really cool things happening. It's all because of, of the great support and sponsorship um, from our community. Uh, as you mentioned, Kristen, the website's a good place to go, centervilleohio.gov. We have a special play page just for the 50th activity, so we hope you go there. Ladies, thanks for your good work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.